Welcome to How to Have Fun Cruising. Boy, oh boy, do we got a great video for you today. And it is the top 10 places to eat, that's right, on the brand new Carnival Mardi Gras ship. And this is one gorgeous ship. And wow, do they have so many options to eat. You're going to love this video. Definitely subscribe to How to Have Fun Cruising. You're going to get to see all kinds of cruise videos, island adventures, and uh, you name it. We've got it when it comes to cruising. But how about the Mardi Gras? One amazing ship. So much fun. This thing is a huge ship. And if you haven't, definitely subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button so we can get this video out to everyone and check out our Facebook, Instagram, and our website, howtohavefuncruising.com. And if you're not familiar with this channel, we've got all kinds of great videos. That's right, from shore excursions to crystal caves to how about our Whoa. Bermuda Triangle. All the way up, way up. Wow, that was over 13 floors. You're going to want to watch that. Also, on our sister channel, How to Have Fun Outdoors, we have a bunch of cruise videos on that also that you're going to want to check out. So you found the right channels, and now it's all about subscribing and enjoying what we've got. So let's get started with these top 10 places to eat. Well, everyone is excited about the Mardi Gras and dancing and having fun and hanging out in the jacuzzi and the pool. And there's so many places to eat, like the Blue Iguana we all know so well from so many of the Carnival cruise ships. You've got your tacos, burritos, salsa bar. And of course, you have the Lido deck up there with the classic buffet. And we went there every morning for breakfast. It was fantastic. But they served lunch and dinner. And this is a go-to not uh, far away from the pool and all the activities. And uh, we just absolutely uh, thought they did a great job with the dining room and everything else with this on the Mardi Gras. Perfect breakfast. The food is really good. <laughs> yeah, it's great. It's a beautiful dining area. And if you also just want to go back to your room and get room service, that's possible on the Mardi Gras. No problem whatsoever, free of charge, and uh, there's no question, lots of places to eat. So let's start this thing with the honorable mention. That's right, the Seafood Shack. This place was awesome. The food was phenomenal. The prices were high, no question about it, but you got some great chow and seafood if you're interested in that. All right, drum roll, let's start with number 10. That's right, Guy's Burger Joint. That's right, number 10, and uh, in our opinion, traveling all over the world on all kinds of cruise lines, if you want the best burger on the ocean, it is definitely Guy's Burger. I, Carnival just did an amazing job by adding this to the fleet. And quite honestly, this Guy's Burger is bigger than all the ones we've seen on all the other ships. Lots more real estate, uh, much bigger uh, toppings bar, and uh, they were never behind on the burgers. They had the burgers out there for everyone, and they are phenomenal, and you all know it if you've tried them. All right, number nine, the big chicken. That's right, the big chicken rocks. The food was phenomenal, and boy, oh boy, did Carnival do a great job with Shaq O'Neal here and uh, the Shaq Attack. You get this uh, big chicken, all kinds of cool uh, fried chicken dishes, sandwiches, you name it. And they did a phenomenal job with this. Uh, it is addicting. So be careful when you go there because you're going to keep going back over and over and over. And again, Carnival did a great job on this. So definitely check out the big chicken. All right. What about number eight? That's right. Street Eats. This was one of our most, uh, you know, go-to places on the Mardi Gras, especially if we were hanging out by the pool. And quite honestly, it was one of the big surprises with the Mardi Gras and we absolutely loved it. Street Eats is basically a combination of a, a several different um, you know, uh, uh, food stands, if you will, and every day they made something different and it was all made to order. So the food was just super fresh, excellent, and we really enjoyed it. And it was like a tapas. You got all these little appetizers and different dishes, but overall, as you can see here, um, everything was made to order and it was really tasty and really good 
and uh, no doubt about it check out these pot thai noodles i mean phenomenal it was really really good so you're gonna want to check out street eats all right moving along let's go to the next one that's right pig and anchor that's right this smokehouse and uh, brewery was fantastic rated in number seven here's the menu of the typical day here and as you can see all kinds of good stuff if you're into beer and barbecue this is definitely a place you're going to want to check out we had a lot of fun um, it's a fun place to go and they've got next to it uh, all the big uh, TVs where you can watch football games and different activities. The barbecue we thought was excellent and uh, as you can see here we went ahead and did the sampler with all the different IPAs and the different beers. It was really really good. Um, Aliche enjoyed it and believe it or not they have their own microbrewery on the cruise ship. That's right. It was pretty phenomenal and uh, no question about it if you want the ambers the ales the ipas the port it's all here and uh, you know you can get whatever you like and take a look at all the different chow on this uh, area here and overall if you're not in the barbecue we probably wouldn't recommend it but if you love barbecue like us uh, it was a lot of fun and really, really good. One big tip, that's right, barbecue filet is on the very first day when you get on the ship. So you're going to want to check that out. And the second tip is be careful of this gold guy here. He's always hitting on uh, my uh, wife. But number six, that's right, the Sea and Grill. This place, is a, there is a charge, uh, but the menu is fantastic. If you love seafood and you want to go upscale and pay a little extra money, uh, this is the place to do it and uh, really classy joint fresh fish uh, you've got lobster and crab and all kinds of great seafood there no question about it here's a look at the restaurant really cool decor and uh, a great place to go and have some chow and a great uh, service there no question about it all right number five the Fahrenheit Steakhouse that's right this is typical of the upscale steakhouse. It definitely is an additional charge. Um, just like on the other ships, uh, impeccable service, great steaks, uh, you know, no question about it. If, if you love your steakhouses, this is the place to go. And Carnival Mardi Gras did a great job with this layout and design. Really, really sharp and, um, you know, no question about it. This is a go-to restaurant if you want to pay the extra money and take a look at the wine in this place. They've really done it up on the Mardi Gras. All right, how about our next one? Chibang, that's right, number four. This was one of our favorite places. It was phenomenal. Take a look at the dragons. And this was a mix of Mexican and Asian food. That's right, a combo. And uh, they had some fantastic food, and we had a lot of fun. Great drinks, great uh, service, and quite honestly, they played a lot of music. It was very uplifting, and uh, take a look at the chow. I mean, it was fantastic. All free, uh, part of the cruise fee, and um, you know, the dragons and the activities made it so much fun in there. Everybody had a great time and take a look at this dragon having a ball running around the place. Overall, we would highly recommend uh, Chibang. We had a blast in there, and the food was fantastic, and the desserts were great also. All right, we got some more great dessert here on Mardi Gras. All right, so if you haven't been on the Mardi Gras, you're going to want to see our walkthrough and tour video, our 25 tips on the Carnival Mardi Gras. We've got the spa, spa balcony room tour, and we do other Carnival Cruise Line uh, walkthroughs like Freedom and uh, in other videos on how to have fun outdoors and also on how to have fun cruising. All right, how about this one? That's right, the Cucina Italian Restaurant, and in our opinion, this is one of the best Italian restaurants on the ocean also. And believe it or not, we were just on a competitive cruise line, uh, the Norwegian Cruise Line, and we really enjoyed it. But they had an upscale Italian where you had to pay more. And honestly, it didn't even come close 
to uh, this restaurant and this restaurant again is free of charge you do have to make reservations in advance but the food was phenomenal take a look at the lobster uh, if you want to know how you get that for free check out our uh, 25 tips uh, on the Mardi Gras cruise video and we'll tell you that one along with the one we already gave you on the filet uh, over at the pig and anchor but in any case this place was great. It passed the Alice uh, test. That's right, Alice's from Italy, and uh, she's very particular about her Italian food. And she was uh, very happy and impressed with it. And overall, we had a great time in this restaurant. Oh, you got your espresso. The real correct little Alice was so happy we went back there twice, believe it or not. All right, let's go to the next one, number two, the Palm. That's right, this is the main dining area of the Carnival Cruise Mardi Gras cruise ship. And um, it's really nice. And quite honestly, some people never even made it there that we were talking to. Welcome to Palm. Enjoy your dinner, sir. Very nice. And oh, what's remarkable is that uh, the food was fantastic. The service was fantastic. But there's so many places to eat on the Mardi Gras. Everyone forgets about the main dining room. You definitely want to check it out. It's beautiful. The service was great. And here's a beautiful look at it. It's uh, no question about it. The classic main dining room, you know, you've got the full menu every night and uh, there's entertainment and these guys do a great job with it. Another great tip is when you get the frog legs on the menu, always ask for the left legs. The left legs are a lot sweeter than the right legs. So definitely check out the adventure part of the menu and get your frog legs, but order the left ones. How's the Indian food? Very good. It's almost like being in India. All right. So a couple more tips for you there, and the desserts were fantastic. So we would highly recommend uh, coming to the Palm and uh, try to make it at least a couple of nights uh, as you explore the rest of the ship and all the different dining, especially the last night of the cruise. We always tell everybody, make sure you're in there for the final uh, hurrah where they all sing a song which is very heart lifting and uh, in fact if you've been on Carnival Cruise Line you know what that final song is all about and then in addition this was spectacular and there were people that were very excited about us videoing this and you can see it for yourself but typically you have all the service people dance at the end and as you can see here they are actually watching that's right watching all of the senior staff decided this particular night to dance for all the service waiters etc so if you look down you can see that there was the captain of the ship and all the the main um, management, if you will, and here's the typical dancer looking down, really enjoying it. So everybody had a lot of fun, and uh, as you can see here, all the, the senior staff of the ship uh, decided to give back to the employees and them do the dance for the evening. So overall, no question about it, make sure you don't miss the last evening, because uh, they always do some great stuff and the food was spectacular. All right, number one. And before we get to number one, let's go with a big like on this video if you enjoyed it and how to have fun cruising. But number one is Chef's Table. That's right, you have to pay right, up for we this. Had another great night here on the Mardi Gras with Carnival. And boy, oh boy, did they have the activities. They've got the shows and they've got the chow. Tonight, we did the Chef's Dinner. You're going to love this. If you get the opportunity, sign up for it earlier. It was magnificent. Lots of courses, great dessert, great wine, great everything. It was fantastic. We highly recommend it. Thanks, Tom. We're going to sit back now and let you experience Chef's Table. You're going to really enjoy this. I'm Fernandez. I'm the sous chef and I will be hosting your Chef's Table. First of all, I would like to thank each one of you for choosing this event. Well, this event is divided into two parts. The first one is we're going to have a small modest reception here, and then we're going to have a wonderful dining experience at the table. So let's start the chef's table by raising a toast. 
And this goes, goes for each one of you for choosing the chef's table. Cheers. 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 Sorry. Opening this box is for you. First, your bubble. And then we have the sea bass here and champagne cream sauce with celery oil. The oil in the sauce is the celery oil. Normally, a rope contains two ends and one rhythm, right? Yes. Watch a snap like this, and a rope contains three ends and one rhythm. I know. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Again, a snap, and a rope contains and four ends and one rhythm. But that's not a magic, right? The real magic is not one rope, but actually, it's a uh, two ropes. I oh, no, 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 not now, no, no, wrong timing. Uh, <laughs> one rope. Yeah. Whenever I do this, everyone has a little confusion, so I can do one more time. Very slowly, in slow motion, <laughs> especially for Imam, yes. You're watching me so closely. Watch, I have a scissor with me, the invisible scissor. And that's one, and that's two. Watch man, very carefully, very slowly right there and watch. And that's back to one row. And that's my favorite one right here. Grab any one man, this or this. That one, thank you. And I wrote the boy too. I think she's a pretty good magician than me. By the way, no magnet, I know that's what people think. I cheat, but I'm an honest cheater. <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. Take the video, put it on Facebook or Instagram, tag me. No, that's not magic. That's called marketing. <laughs> yeah, that's why it's magic. Can you take that cost to the cost, everyone, please? One more time. Yes, see? I know. I know. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Can you look at the camera? Look at the camera. Maybe you missed it. You take, continue one more time. I did. You missed it. You can take the time. Yes. You can take the time. 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 You can take the
that's okay, ma'am. I give one next three more months on board, so you can take your time. Continue. Okay, great. Let's see that too. Okay. This one, no, no. This one, no. That's not a card. This one, no. You know what? Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, great. I'm sorry. That's a long time. Oh my god. You guys are so funny, both of you. Okay. You get free water. Okay. Okay. In the center, there's a soft, this is the blueberry essence, and at the bottom, there's a green. So as you can see, the chef's table was absolutely phenomenal. The food was fantastic and the service was impeccable. Um, obviously they had the magician there that did a bunch of tricks, uh, did not video all of that because it was quite extensive and a lot of fun. Um, you get a free picture with the meal and uh, get to meet the head chef. And overall, we just thought this was fantastic. So we really hope you enjoyed this video. Top 10 places to eat on the Carnival Mardi Gras. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and thank you so much for watching. Have fun cruising! <laughs>